What's up guys, Daily Kamel here and I'm here with PDS. We're live on Twitch and we've just unlocked Gong Strong. You can unlock him by advancing to stage six of Arc 5 World. It's not too hard. All you have to do is do some fusions, do some synchros and pendulum summon a few times. So uh, yeah, we've got Gong Strong passed down through many generations. Gong has inherited his family's traditional style of dueling the heavy strong style while his opponents may run around the field during an action duel, Gong won't take a single step. Gong has a friendly rivalry with Yuya, who he's known since they were little kids with his Super Heavy Samurai deck and Super Heavy Samurai Big Bank A. Gong will do anything it takes to win, except move. Alright. I, like, I like that. I like that, bro. It doesn't All right, so alpha. Let's quickly look over these cards and then get into the skill. Yeah. So, Super Heavy ma uh, Samurai Magnet. When this card is normal, summon you can special summon one level four or lower Super Heavy Samurai monster from your hand. Then change this card's battle position. Monsters your opponent controls cannot attack any monsters except this one. So, pretty interesting card here. Uh, it does allow you to uh, you know kind of bait out some back row. Yep. Um, especially if they are unfamiliar with the super heavy samurai strategy you know get your tuners out or get any uh level four or lower super heavy samurai out from your hand onto the field yeah this is pretty good it'll help you instant synchro and if it does get it's taken all, care right, of yeah. by a, a back row you'll still be able to do whatever you need to with the tuner all right, right okay what so Imano Imano. Uwado? i don't know why because it's uh, already a card what yeah very that is so strange. Drake, Drake. Moon Lamp, level 4 yeah. Fire Worm. Once per turn, quick effect. You can discard one worm type monster. This card gains 1000 defense until the end of this turn. Once per battle, during damage calculation, if this attack position card battles an attack position monster quick effect, you can apply each card's defense for damage calculation. This is very strange. These are his level ups? This is so weird. Yeah, this card sucks. Yeah, that's And weird. then another magnet. So another Amano, another lamp. What strange monsters to give us a fair playset. Alright. So here's a new one, the okay. cannon. Sorry, Super Heavy Samurai, Soul Bang Cannon, level three Earth. You can target one super heavy samurai monster you control, equip this monster from your hand or your side of the field to that target. It gains one thousand defense. During either player's battle phase, when your opponent activates a card effect while you control a defense position Super Heavy Samurai, you can banish this card from your graveyard, negate the activation, if you do, destroy it, then destroy as many monsters on the field as possible, and if you do, both players take 500. What? Yeah, it's a pretty strong card, but of course, you know, your opponent's going to be able to know that you have this in the grave, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting card though for sure. Like definitely probably one of the the better ones he could have gotten, but Wow. Okay. Nice. So then another magnet. And then another Imano. Yeah, and then another lamp. Like what wow, are these levels? A lamp at level thirty, dude, that's really sad. So this um Soul Charger and Big Benke, those are the new super heavy samurais. That's it. Like, I mean there's magnet, but you know, that's it. It's it's Big Ben K and this dude. Soul Charger. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of insane. Kind of strange how they chose to to do that. His level up rewards are honestly some of the strangest I've seen yet. A worm monster and an event card, a mono wado. I don't even know how they could give us an event card that you can get from tickets from starting the game today. That's that's really strange to me. Oh, yeah, alright, so then uh, let's get into these skills. So, for real, so. first off, we have uh, Ben K, the Guardian. This is the the one you just get by default. Uh, no, it's oh, not. No, no, this is not. No, it's not. It's not. My it's bad. Strong yeah, style. it's just an alphabetic order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, select one Super Heavy Samurai Big Ben K you control that is equipped with a Super Heavy Samurai Soul card. So, those are all the, uh, you know, you guys know if you play the deck. Soul Pierce. It's an equip. Yeah. Stuff. This monster will not be destroyed in battle during your opponent's next turn, and your opponent cannot select. Monsters other than this monster as an attack target. You cannot declare an attack on a turn you use the skill. This skill can only be used if you begin to do it with a deck that contains no spells and traps. This deck can only be, or this skill can only be used once per duel. So, so can you click uh, Big Benkei? I don't even know, like, 
that's not going to be very good. So you can't attack, but then your big Ben K cannot be destroyed in battle next turn. That's it. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this skill, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not, especially because it revolves around one monster that you have to get out on your own. It doesn't add it to your deck or anything. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, I'm... Yeah. doesn't really do anything either to, like, advance your game state. It's kind of like just a hope you live another turn kind of skill. And it's like, eh. It's whatever. Yep. Not, not for me. Next, right, defense burst. Ooh, okay. Can, o can only be used up until your third turn so not past that and only once select one monster you control it gains 500 defense until the end of your opponent's turn at the start of your turn this monster's defense will become zero wow that is a terrible skill it's an interesting one but i, I mean, think it has a pretty uh bad drawback right yeah, yeah I mean, going to zero is there any benefit to it going to zero like from any super heavy samurai well, know. like, you can always just synchro it off, you know, so it's not the biggest deal, but... Eh, yeah, one we'll monster getting 500 uh, defense is kind of weird. Yeah, and you can only use it once as well. Yeah, that's very weak. Yeah, yeah and, and it brings ben, ben K to 4K exactly, but, you know, it's like, it's so a weird skill. Alright, defense charge. This one, yeah. Generic we skill. Alright, Dong won't move. Alright, Gong won't move. Can be used once per turn if you control a monster in defense position. Uh, yeah, just once per turn. Increase the defense of all monsters you control by 500 until the end of your opponent's turn. You cannot declare an attack the turn used the skill. This skill can only be used if you begin the duel with a deck that does not contain spell or traps. This skill can only be used twice per duel. So twice per duel, you get 500 attack until your opponent's end phase. So it's kind of like improved ties the bind. And you basically have to be playing super heavy samurais because you cannot play spiller traps. Right, and also you can't attack, so it's like, I don't know. This I really don't like the skill yeah, either. Yeah, I mean, with super heavies, you know, they're not such a defensive deck that you don't want to attack as soon as you summon them. You definitely still want to attack. So I don't think this is going to be something that is yeah. worth using. Honestly, you know. All right, and then uh, I guess we just take a look at it, the heavy strong style. Yep, at the beginning of the duel, add one Super Heavy Samurai Big Bang K to your deck can be used once per duel if you control two or more monsters in defense position and their total amount of defense is 3,500 or above. Add one Super Heavy Samurai Big Bang K from your graveyard to your hand. Then, if you do not control a monster whose original defense is 3,500 or more, return one card in your hand to your deck. Oh man, this skill is you, this skill itself is not good. You have it does not get you big Benke at all. You still have to hard draw it and summon it. We be using this skill. It does not help you get it out. It just helps you get it back, right? Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know like I mean it's good to can complete the missions, but like yeah, this skill's kind of whack too. But yeah, it's, you can't really complain too much cuz this is just a default one. Yeah, I mean, the, the default ones that usually help you summon the guy or search something, you know, this is yeah really strange. I feel like definitely a little bit underpowered. All right, okay. so then he's got some, he's got three level skills. And then he's got then, Style Evolution. Is that him? Yes, it is. Yeah. Style Evolution. Select one level 4 or lower Super Heavy Samurai monster in face of defense that you control. It becomes a Tuner monster. If you do not synchro summon a monster during the turn you use this skill, all monsters in defense position you control will be sent to your graveyard. This skill can only be used if you begin the duel with a deck that does not contain spell traps. Once per duel. Okay, I'm thinking... This is probably the most interesting skill that we've read on him yet. Make one of your super heavy samurais a tuner. So if you have yeah. two that are not tuners, one of them becomes a tuner and you can synchro. I mean, I, I feel like this skill doesn't really come up that often though, because just like the tuners for super heavy samurais are pretty easy to get out. Like, yeah. I mean, the only I'm trying to think like, I guess maybe if you have one of the, uh, the soul piercing, you know, the, like the ones that equip, maybe you can do something with those, but I'm, yeah. I don't know. I'm also yeah. thinking this is just like 
If you already uh, yeah. have monsters out, but you're too, you're, you bring your tuner out and it gets floodgated or something, like hopefully you can still make something with the levels of the non-tuners you have on the field. Yeah, exactly. So honestly, nothing too amazing from Gong skill-wise. The final yeah. skill is Swing into Action, Pendulum Summon, which is the Arc 5 character skill that gives them Pendulum Zones. And this is kind of disappointing, right? This is the first character that has a pre-existing archetype and we're getting some Arc 5 support. And we only got two, six, heavy, two super heavy samurais. Uh, one, I mean, I'm not even counting the magnet. I'm counting Soul Charger and Big Benkei. And then none of these skills, I feel, really capitalize on the strengths of super heavy samurais or kind of take into account of their weakness. They kind of just like added some gimmick plays on top, you know, being able to swing for 4k with Big Bang K or turning stuff into a tuner here. I don't think that uh, there's anything conclusive to really help the archetype, which is troubling. You know, I hope the other, they do not handle the other exes pre-existing archetypes, I mean Arc 5, pre-existing pre -existing archetypes like that. Yeah, I really, yeah, this is pretty disappointing for the Super Heavy Samurai players. Yeah, I mean, the, the the deck is a you know fan favorite, has needed support for a while. Here it is, big yikes! So, if you, you're gonna have to be holding on, holding out for that super heavy samurai main box that is coming in the future, surely. But uh, P PS, yes. any final thoughts on Gong? Uh, nah, it's, it's dude. I'm sorry, guys. It's bad. Yeah, it's dude, dude. dude. Super heavy samurai players, dude. I hope you can make use of the soul charger, but skill wise, does not look like anything is gonna be good. Pendulum wise, nothing. Or gong, dude. Sorry. Check out our videos later when we unlock the other characters and go over their skills and level up rewards. Keep it right here at Duel Links Entertainment. Peace out.